Traveled to over six countries in the past one year with this luggage bag and this camera backpack. Been to Indonesia, Thailand, New Zealand, Iceland, Seychelles, US. This Suze has seen it all. Damn, that's some sick figures for one lone content creator. Let's do a proper divine. January started off the year with a trip to Bali, worked with the resort for their promo video. Bali had bad rain, so did not enjoy Bali much, but Nusa Penida and Nusa Lembongan Islands was absolutely breathtaking. Then I had a big wedding to cover in January, got back to India, planned for a wedding. This wedding was, I guess, one of the most expensive weddings in East India so far. We spent a week in planning and scripting. It was the most organized wedding in my last eight years too. Me and my team killed it. We had a lot of fun as well. Spent a week to edit the wedding film and then got my tickets and visa done for the epic New Zealand road trip. Then February, February was the most important month for me. As Rich came to a life, I felt almost like I can have a copy of mine in terms of dedication and perfection, but we will see, I mean, how he comes along. He now has his own Instagram account with more than 400 posts. I'm sure many of you watching this video doesn't even have 400 posts in your Instagram account. I guess many of them, so super kid in the making. For the March, went ahead and ordered the BMW S1000 RR 2018 Pro model. Then I left for an epic New Zealand South Island road trip. It was a long trip of somewhere around 1800 kilometers over 10 days of time. Started at Christchurch, ended the trip at Queenstown. New Zealand is undoubtedly the best country to drive. The mountains and landscapes are so breathtaking, it almost becomes impossible to drive. The best part of New Zealand South Island is Mount Cook and the Milford Sound. It strongly recommend everyone to save money. Go visit these two places at least once in their entire life. It's absolutely beautiful and crazy surreal. I'm planning to do the New Zealand South Island again and maybe the North Island sometime in 2019 if I get time. Then April, got back to India from New Zealand, took the delivery of my BMW S1000 RR. I rested myself for two years, 2016 and 2017. As I wanted to build two of my new brands, I successfully did that with JetSpot and JetCloud. Got the S1000 RR and couldn't be much happier. Of course, I missed my RSV4, but yeah, this was special too. Loaded it with almost every possible carbon fiber available for S1000 RR and I doubt if anyone else in India has such a loaded S1000 RR yet. Pretty sure, I bet. For me, I left for Bangkok to shoot for Pullman and Hilton Hotels for their promo film and Instagram campaigns. I cannot show the pictures or videos here due to some strict NDA but if you guys have been following me on Instagram, you must have already seen some of them. It was an amazing experience working with the Hilton group and again Bangkok is always fun. I had a lot of fun, I had a lot of good food. Then in June, got back to India from Bangkok and since it was rainy season here in India, our rides had completely stopped. I got my attention to the Xbox One X, went ahead and ordered it, got a new LG OLED 65 in my home office as well, as I want everything within my own space without disturbing anyone else or getting disturbed by anyone else. So I have a pretty nice cute home office in my home and I have never been into gaming but this console experience was so good, I literally play 30 minutes almost every day now. It works as a stress buster after coming from the office late in the night or even before going to office. I love the games like Forza, Gears of War and Battlefield. Then in July, I went ahead and applied for my EU Schengen visa. It was the worst visa I have ever applied. Then I learned swimming with the help of a friend. This was long due and I always wanted to learn this. I love swimming every morning now before going to office and then again getting back from office. Love it in the evening. 
In August, I took my wife and son for a short vacation to Seychelles and we loved the short island trip to a nice resort by the Victoria Beach. Seychelles is a kind of very expensive for everything but yeah, worth the visit. Then DJI released the Mavic 2 Pro and I couldn't be much happier. I was the first one to get it in India, yet again. In September, I left for Iceland and Iceland trip was the trip which I always wanted to do but I was not able to get the right client for my content. Finally, I got to work with Enterprise, got the trip done and Iceland in one word is epic. If you are someone who at least wants to have an adventure or want to see the raw nature at least once in your lifetime, Iceland is the country to visit. It's highly unpredictable, cold and insanely beautiful. This is the trip where I actually felt I should not be doing such dangerous trips alone. Iceland is a no man's land, absolutely lonely and a different planet altogether. The landscapes are so majestic, you almost feel like you are in Mars. Volcanoes, waterfalls, highlands, rivers, mountains, it has it all. Iceland is so lonely, you almost end up spending $50 a day on water alone. It's hell expensive. I did the whole Iceland ring road trip and it was one hell of a trip with over more than 1300 miles. I hardly know anyone or read about anyone who is a lone traveler or content creator and has done this ring road all alone. It's almost impossible to do the ring road alone but I've done it and I'm just so proud of it. Next time I'm leaving for Iceland, I will make sure I'm doing the West Iceland completely. In October, I left for US, went to Chicago for some work, stayed there for 5 nights, spent over $200 on Uber just to get the Apple Watch 4, Nike edition, then left for another epic Colorado road trip. And Colorado is one of the most underrated states in US and trust me, it's so beautiful, you won't get bored for a single moment. It has everything to see, mountains, waterfalls and even desert too. I drove around somewhere around 1300 miles in Colorado in extreme weather. Thankfully, I had a beautiful car in Colorado so I did not feel the pain much. There are few spots in Colorado which I could not go due to snow or ice so hopefully sometime soon in few years again with my wife and son. In November, I got back to India, wanted to finish my pending projects like my own Merc store and the cam rent, started working on cam rent first, finished it, got it live, started getting the customers, then I wanted to revamp the SBK store website and it was a massive job to move over 30,000 products and build the whole new website. Anyways, got it done and it's well and good. In December, launched my own Merc store, mystock.in, got a lot of orders and it was so good to see people wearing my designs. Then I needed a second bike so went ahead and ordered the Ducati Scrambler which is about to get delivered next week most probably. So undoubtedly, 2018 was the best year of my life so far. I worked my ass off day and night to keep myself satisfied, happy and fulfilling. I hate setting up fake goals, fake commitments, dreaming, fake resolutions. The only thing which I try with every passing day is how to get better at my craft and how to get better at everything what I do and if it's really adding value to others life or not. I try to stay pumped, motivated, active every day and do not let negative energy or people to fuck it up. I respect time because everything will return but time on. With that being said, let's crush it. I will see you in 2019 now. Happy New Year! Goodbye!